Today is a special day. Here at his parental home in Soweto, Tamsantla Masingana is getting married according to Tosa customary law. It's the start of a two-day-long celebration. The slaughter of this sheep cements the bond between the families of the bride and groom. Two are for exchanging of, uh, from both families. One is for the bride, one is for the groom side of the family. And then the other three, uh, usually when it's a black wedding, it becomes a feast. So I don't need people to run out of meat. That's why all of these things. <laughs> Young couples who want to get married are under enormous pressure to fulfill family and religious obligations. As well as sheep, Mazingana also spent about a thousand euros on a cow to appease his ancestors. Also, tradition requires him to slaughter it himself to prove that he is a worthy man. It also shows respect to his ancestors. Mazingana, who has never slaughtered a cow in his life, does what tradition expects of him. But the community is there to lend a helping hand. So without blood and animals, your ancestors can't hear what you say. Because you ask for everything from your, your ancestors, whether it's a job, whether it's a child, whether it's blessings. If you just go there and, and you just say, can I have blessings? They won't come, they won't come to light. So you have to have an animal for an offering. While the men cut the meat, the women are busy cooking. Bride Palesa Manzingana isn't allowed to see the groom today. Covering the costs of the wedding is a huge financial burden for the couple. The animal offerings alone cost 2,000 euros. And these days, family and friends expect a traditional wedding and a Western-style white wedding. So we decided, both of us, that we're going to do the traditional route instead of the Western. Maybe in the near future, yes, we will decide to do the Western but then tradition is more important because for us black people, we have to combine the ancestors. So for some women, it's important to wear a white dress, but then for me, it's not. White weddings have become an important status symbol. The fancier, the better. Many young couples run up excessive debt to be able to afford two different weddings. Unsurprisingly, wedding planning has become a serious business and not just for the super rich. Mazet Tambuk's office is in the center of the township. This is where Zandile Kwabe and her partner Beka Sekulo go for advice on how to spend their precious savings. Heated by the sun first. Okay. To get that to keep it. This tent, yeah. it's about 9,000 rent. Hey. Okay, let's go back again. What is your budget for the whole thing? Can that room answer that? Okay. <laughs> what is your budget? <laughs> it's always the group. Yeah. You uh, must well, well, I'm looking at uh, roughly 50k. 50k. Mm. Okay. It means for 50k, for 150 people, it will make it. Eventually, the groom decides to ask his boss for the loan. But in Tambuka's experience, there is never enough money, especially when the couples want both a traditional and a Western ceremony. Then you, when you want your wedding to be beautiful, you must have 80,000 and for 40 people. During our days, there were no white dresses. Now there's a white dress comes in and white dress comes with beautiful things. Then you must have more money. White dress, more money. The Manzinganas decided against a white wedding. But the second day of their feast incorporates many Western elements like champagne, speeches and modern music. This hybrid wedding is a good compromise for the groom, who respects his elders and their traditions but also values his and his wife's independence. So, uh, it's not really like in the olden days when they dictated everything. Now we do it's more like a compromise. We put our input in and they put their input in and then we reach a compromise. Yeah, there's more space for us to play a role in our marriage, unlike before, whereby you were told that this and this is going to happen. While the first day of Tamsankla and Palesa's wedding was dedicated to their ancestors, the second day is all about beautiful dresses and having a good time. In all, the couple ended up spending around 5,000 euros. Aunties, cousins and parents chipped in what they could. Without this community spirit, there's no doubt the couple would still be saving up for their wedding today.